Hey, Parks family, welcome to uh, Church Online this week. Well, this is our celebration of Baptism Week, uh, something we had to postpone a couple uh, weeks ago. We are excited to do that today at 10 a.m. here on the square. So if you're watching this at 9 a.m., we invite you, hey, you got an hour, come join us. It is going to be an incredible celebration of all that God has done in transforming lives as people publicly profess uh, their faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, but before we get started in this service, I just want to share a couple announcements with you and start with shared practices. Uh, you should have received a card that looks like this. Uh, this week's shared practice is fasting. So you can refer to that card or go onto our website, theparkschurch.com slash shared practice, and you can find out more details and information about fasting. But we'd encourage you uh, to do that with us as well. And the second announcement, massive announcement, next week we are getting back together here at Impact at 9 and 1045 for two services. And so uh, you should have received an email this past Tuesday uh, outlining that a little bit, that we'll need you to RSVP and pre-check your kids. It had links in that email. And then you'll also receive an email this coming Tuesday with both of those links. And the RSVP links will go live uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m. So you need to RSVP, you need to pre-check your kids if you have them in bigs or littles, but refer to that email and all the details will be there. If you have questions about it, just reach out uh, to us, all right? So here's how this is going to play out this service. Uh, there are going to be video testimonies of God's grace. And so if you were with us live, you kind of know what happens. The video testimony rolls and then we'll baptize them in water. But uh, you won't see the baptism in water, but you're going to hear all of these stories of God's grace colliding uh, with all these different lives at the Parks Church publicly, again, publicly professing Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so we are celebrating all that King Jesus is doing, even in this strange season in our church. And so we couldn't be more excited. We're glad that you're here online joining us and peering in. Our, pr our prayer is that you would just worship alongside these folks being baptized as we're doing it live or you're just uh, peering in here. So let me pray for us and then we're going to get into some worship and, and sing that way. Uh, Father, thank you for this day. You have made it. You've created it. Uh, and Lord, even as people are watching at home or are listening here uh, online, I pray that their hearts would just explode with worship uh, over what your son has done in redeeming us and saving us. And so, Lord, I pray that uh, you would just do something that only you can do in our midst. And so as we sing songs, as we hear testimonies, our eyes and our hearts would be drawn more and more uh, toward you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And so what's going to come up here is, is Romans 6. And I'd encourage you to read Romans 6 even before we start singing. And so read that as it sets your heart for baptism. And let's sing and let's celebrate together, church. King of glory 
it says this, lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Nations bow, mountains shake at the sound of just one name over all Jesus reigns. I know, yes, you do. I know. Nations bow, mountains shake. The sound just one day over all Jesus reigns. I know, oh, no, 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 there is a King of glory, there is a God who saves, one who is strong and mighty. Freedom is in. Shout of praise, there is a lion roaring, Jesus the King of glory. My name is Lily Jornod and I'm getting baptized today. All my life I grew up in a Christian home. I never truly understood how God can change someone's life dramatically. When I was in fifth grade, my parents decided to get a divorce. This was a big, big change in my life. And it was a time period that I was not close with God. During this time period, I was really lost. I didn't know who I was myself and I just was broken inside. A few months ago, I went to Costa Rica with my school on a mission trip, and I saw the power of God. I met these two girls, and they were the most loving, caring people I've ever met. And I saw how happy they were, and it showed me how much God can love through others. I remember coming home and crying to my mom, telling her how much I loved it, and it's changed my life. When I got back, I went through several events in my life that really took a toll on me. I trusted in God through every single one of these. Ever since then, I've just felt unconditional love from God. And I now feel closer to Him knowing that He loves us no matter what. So today I'm getting baptized to publicly show how much I love and adore my Heavenly Father. Good morning, Park Street. I'm Ron Jackson, and I'm being baptized this morning. In 70 years, I got a lot that can be shared, uh, you know. I, I, I've seen God literally do some things and change some things right before my eyes, and I still have a hard time believing that that's what really happened. I, I saw the highway move. Literally, I saw the highway move. I was at one point on the highway, and I ended up back back beyond that that point uh, in, in just an instant, and and I saw it do it, and, and, and I still have trouble reconciling that in, in, in my in my in my human mind as to how that happened. So I, I, I just don't, you know, I don't know. So I, so that's that's the thing that that, that kind of it, it has has a lot of gravity uh, for me. In the, at, at this point, is to, uh, you know, I, I want people, I want to let people know how great God is, uh, if we allow Him to be, and as we come to, to know Him more, and He reveals Himself more to us, uh, 
that that those things happen. Who can save me? Because I, I, I definitely can't save myself. So I, I, I'm at a, I'm at an age where where a, a lot of people are are uh, suffering from many health ailments. I suffer from none. I take no medications. Uh, I don't drink enough water. Uh, so, uh, you know, I know the whole thing is on God, it, you know, to, to have gotten me here. There's no way that I could, like you said, no way I could have mapped it out and gotten here on my own. Yeah. No, no, no possible way. I'm asked to give a testimony this morning to accompany this event. There are many stories of God's mercy and grace that I could tell you about, but that would take up another lifetime. The gray in my beard and in my head speak to the fact that God has shown me grace and mercy, for I have truly walked in the valley of the shadow of death. And God has always been at my side, being my shield and my shelter. I've gone through this baptism process as a child, not truly understanding the meaning of it. To develop a deeper relationship with God, I know that throughout this long life that I've had, God has been proclaiming his love for me. At this time, I want to publicly proclaim my love for him. My life is yours And my hope is in you only And my heart you hold Cause you made this sin holy and old Your glory is so beautiful I fall onto my knees in awe And the heartbeat of my life Is to worship in your light Cause your glory is so beautiful Your glory is so beautiful Jesus, 
Hey, my name's Logan Moffat, and I'm getting baptized today. I grew up in a Christian household where I was taught about Jesus Christ, and I questioned my faith a lot, and I wasn't 100% devoted. It wasn't until the beginning of high school I started going to more youth groups and stuff like that with my good friend, Luke Spitzer, where I started to grow in my relationship and understanding of Jesus Christ. And then it wasn't until later, my junior year, where track was gonna be the main focus of my life, but God took that away from me, and I had that time to further focus on Him. And during that time, I accepted Jesus Christ into my life and gave my life a new meaning. And now I'm fully confident that I'll spend eternity with Jesus Christ. Today I'm being baptized to profess my love for Jesus Christ. I'm Megan Cathy. And about 10 years ago, two of my coworkers at the time introduced me to God. They both had a joy about them and a light that shined through them that I had never witnessed before. All I knew is I wanted that kind of joy and hope like they had even in the hard times. Before knowing Christ, I was unhappy and always searching for earthly things to fill that void. I had a hardened heart who judged everyone and understood little. I don't have one defining moment of when I went from seeking this God who seemed unattainable to a sinner like me to knowing my identity is in Christ alone. It has been through the hardships of marriage and my journey of trying to raise an adoptive daughter with a traumatic past that somewhere along the way I completely submitted to the Lord and accepted Jesus as my Savior. That was sometime in 2018. I'm in awe of how much God cares for every detail in my life. He has not made all the hard things, the pain or the struggles go away, but He walks right next to me every step of the way. God cares for everyone of us this much, and my hope is that everyone accepts Jesus as their Savior and gets to experience the true love of God. So because of the changes Jesus made in my life today, I have chosen to be baptized. And I search the world, but 
I accepted Jesus when I was around five or four just because my sister did. Recently, when I turned nine, I accepted Jesus out of knowing and loving him. 
I knew that I needed him because I am a sinner and he is perfect. So I am getting baptized today because I want everyone to know that I am a Christ follower. So I'm Annie Pipkin. Um, I'm a wife and a homeschool mom of two, and I am so looking forward to getting baptized, and I kind of wanted to share my story with y'all today. So I wasn't raised in the church at all. I, I've never been to church with my family before or with my parents. Um, I have wonderful parents. They, they have been wonderful with me, but all I knew when I was younger is that I was supposed to believe in, you know, in a God, and that was about the extent of my faith. <laughs> Um, so as you can imagine, I grew up with a big hole in my heart. Um, I tried to fill that hole with all the worldly things that our culture tells us to. Um, and as time went on, the things that I was using were, were getting worse and worse. And by the time I was in my early 20s, I made a very wrong decision. Um, one that was unforgivable in my eyes. Um, I was going down a destructive path, but for the first time in my life, I, I felt something and I heard something deep inside say, this is wrong, you need to turn back. It was a small, still voice, but it was powerful and it was unrelenting. And I have no doubt in my mind that that was the Lord intervening in my life while I was at a crossroads. And I'm happy to report that I did in fact listen and turn back and it was the best choice I could have ever made in my life. Shortly after that, I got very sick. Um, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and um, three autoimmune diseases and one that is very life-threatening. And as an average lifespan of about 10 years after diagnosis, um, and that was the point that I gave my life to Christ because I couldn't do it alone. And my family was very supportive and very wonderful, but I knew that I needed something more than just my family to help me through. So a little while after I did that, we moved to McKinney and we found the Parks Church, who we love. Um, and since that time, I have had my eyes wide open and I have watched the Lord do the most amazing things in my life and through my illness. He has been able to change my perspective so I can see all the gifts that has come through this journey. It, it really is incredible how God can create such beauty out of utter brokenness. He has led me to some amazing doctors and some amazing people that have helped me in my journey. And it inspired me to go back to school so I can help others with autoimmune diseases. Um, and not only helping them manage their disease, but I get to share my faith with them and show them how we have hope, you know, despite our illness through Jesus Christ. And I get to share that with my children as well. And I get to give them that firm foundation that I did not have when I was younger. So this is our next step. And I feel so excited that I get to get baptized. Hi, I'm Chris Pipkin. I'm husband to my wife, Annie, and father to two beautiful kids, Max and Mia. I grew up in the Catholic church and became less involved during my high school and college years. I started actively praying again when we found out we were going to have our first child. I prayed for guidance to be a good father and husband. And that's when things started to come back into focus and fall into place. Due to some changes in work, we moved to McKinney and quickly found the Parks Church. Kyle really helped reignite my connection with Jesus. I'm excited to say that I now feel called to take this next step and become baptized. song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever bring Live for you mm -hmm. Jesus the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever save yeah. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you We live for you And holy, there is no one like you There is none beside you Open up my eyes
song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring yeah. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe Live for you because Jesus is my savior and he died on the cross for me. I want to be baptized today to show how much I love him. My name is Erin Douglas. I have been a part of the Parks Church now for two years. My husband and I joined as uh, members about a year ago, and I am uh, very excited to be here today um, to get baptized and just to publicly proclaim what the Lord has done in uh, my heart and in my marriage and in my entire life. I grew up and I was born and raised in California, Thousand Oaks, California, and um, I grew up going to church every Sunday, went to Sunday school, spent every weekend in church, but never really fully grasped what it meant to be a Christian and to truly um, follow Christ and accept Him into my life. Um, as a young teenager, I allowed the stress of um, people, of being popular, of being um, wanted and accepted uh, to take a priority in my life. Um, kind of later in my high school years, I became friends with individuals um, that just led me astray, led me away from my family, led me away from God, led me away from any type of a faith that I um, started as a, as a child. I unfortunately started making poor decisions and I shut out the Lord and my heart became hard towards religion and towards Him. Um, I moved to San Antonio, Texas to play college volleyball when I was 18. And um, that's kind of where my life started to turn around. Um, I did meet some special people. Um, unfortunately, I struggled very hard with um, anxiety and depression and um, at times, suicidal thoughts. Um, I let other people uh, define me as ordinary and less than and undeserving of really anything. And I unfortunately um, believed every single word. And my faith at this point was almost non-existent. And um, I was mad at the Lord for not um, pulling me through hard times and changing my circumstances. Um, but looking back now, um, I realized and I've, I've come to understand that He has constantly pursued me um, every waking moment. I was never alone, even when I was battling such um, severe, uh, debilitating anxiety. Um, I tried to go to <laughs> doctors and therapist and um, tried for a long time 
and it really was the Lord that bought me, brought me through. At a certain point in time, I was just brought to my knees in complete pain, and that is when the Lord just picked me up and just changed my whole life. I have spent the past couple of years and since that point um, just learning about the Lord, learning about Scripture and just realizing what He has done um, for me and that's without even me asking. Um, that's just um, such a beautiful, such a beautiful thing that He has just done. Uh, during premarital counseling, our pastor finally asked after about like eight months of premarital counseling if I had ever accepted the Lord into my heart. And um, right then and there, with my husband on the other of the line, we were doing a phone call, um, just bawling my eyes out and just accepting the Lord into my heart. And right then and there, um, my life was forever changed. Um, the Holy Spirit is just forever in me. My relationship with the Lord continues to grow every single day, and I no longer find um, my worth in pleasing others and believing what the enemy has put into my head. Um, I am the daughter of a perfect God, and uh, that is such a miracle. I am His, and He is mine. So today, uh, I am so excited to be baptized. I thought for such a long time that I had to be a perfect picture when I waded into those waters. But how amazing is it that I don't have to be, that I, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect, I'm not sin free, but the Lord is in my heart and He has sent His Son down who died for us and died for our sins for me so that we can live this beautiful life and honor Him with it. So today I am I am dying to my sins so that I may be made alive in Christ. He is my Savior and I am so excited to publicly proclaim that in front of my friends and my family and my church family. Okay, and uh, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, Good as Lord is King of your life. I got
Hey, thank you so much for joining us here at our baptism service. I hope that it just encouraged your heart more toward Jesus. And I just wanted to pray with us as we, we close this time of worship uh, together. Father, thank you for this service. Thank you for the testimonies that we just heard and the people whose lives have been transformed by your son, Jesus Christ. And so I pray that you'd go before us this week, go before us as we plan and plot uh, our upcoming service on the 20th, as we uh, plan and plot uh, our shared practices together in fasting. Again, Lord, all of this is for you and about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, church, we love you. We'll see you uh, next Sunday.